to begin, I'm applying my Josie Moran foundation with my fingers to quickly blend and achieve that naturally radiant look. This foundation goes on white, just like a lotion, but then transforms into a skin matching tone once it's blended and completely settled in. I love wearing this foundation, especially on days where I don't have a lot of time for makeup because it allows my skin to look its best with very little effort and the ingredients are right up my alley. Now I start filling in my eyebrows with an angled brush and any dark brown eyeshadow. I basically just fill in the gaps, but right now I'm letting my eyebrows grow out to reshape them, so I'm currently in that awkward brow phase. But when I'm filling them in, I aim for a straighter brow that's not full of gaps and that looks a little fuller, but at the same time yet natural looking. So I brush them out after filling and defining to soften them for a more natural look like this. Now I apply my favorite concealer ever, which happens to have the dopest organic ingredients possible. And I apply it in a triangular motion and I tap it and tap it and tap it all in until it's fully blended. Now to add a slight amount of luminous color, I'm using this finishing powder which adds a beautiful bronzy glow to my skin and I'm just applying it in all the areas that a bronzer or a highlighter would go. Now, because I love a nice and simple black cat eye, I'm going to choose to invest a little extra time and risk being late to wherever it is I'm going because without a cat eye, I can't call this a bad girl look, but this is totally optional. You don't have to risk arriving late anywhere by taking this step, okay? Lashes. Lashes are also optional, probably more optional than the cat eye, but just go ahead and apply loads of mascara. You'll be fine. This is my favorite lip liner and lip liner brand, and maybe you've seen it a million times on my channel, so you may already know. But this is a perfect everyday lip color, but I love adding a reddish tone like this one on top to give it that perfect mauve neutralish pout. The last and most important step for the makeup is adding more glow. JLo does it, I do it, and once you do it, you're kind of hooked. And finally, my most requested hairstyle on Instagram, the half up, half down. It's super easy, so I'm gonna show you. The day before, I washed my hair and I styled it with just this one product, Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. And I like this product because it gave my hair flexible hold and shine. To begin, you'll need a hair tie and water, basically. Spritz your hair with water on the front and edges just to dampen your hair a bit to prepare to restyle. Now I'm applying my Blueberry Bliss to re-moisturize my hair before gathering my hair into the hairstyle.
I part my hair evenly on each side, but I don't run my fingers through my hair to avoid adding frizz like a comb. I just simply grab my sections of hair and I gather it together towards the top into a loose ponytail like this. As you can see with curly hair, a perfect part is not necessary. And now I'm simply tying my hair twice so that it's not too tight and so your curls aren't stretched and still gathered in place. Now I just adjust the front by lightly tugging my hair to adjust it into my liking. I just aim for curls that are not stretched or flattened once gathered on top of the ponytail because I don't like that. And that's it. A quick and easy half up, half down achieved with one product in three to five minutes. And finally, this bad girl look cannot be completed without a faux leather jacket to edge me up. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye.